Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsline News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the latest edition of the Royal Take as we get into previewing the game against Wooster. That are running Royals are 7 and 2 against this season. They've really been playing Wooster well, and they're first, obviously, in the North and in the East, where Wooster is third in the North and, if I could read that, sixth in the East. And in the last five, though, Wooster, according to the great video that our Jess Berger did on the Lions War, is 4-1 and one as our Reading Royals are 3-2. and two, So they have been a wee bit better, not by much, but a wee bit better in the last five. The Royals do have some transactionary news now as Garrett McFadden got recalled from loan back up to the Phantoms. So claps up and congratulations for him. It sucks that we lose such a skilled defenseman to his elk, but he also earned his call up to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, and I think he has a chance, actually, I'm not even going to say at least, I think this guy's a really solid defenseman, I think he has a chance to be a good AHL defenseman, and then work his way up from there, um, and then, when it comes to our Reading Royals, Patty Nagel also got called back up to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, and we decided to bring in, in order to replace Patty Nagel, someone that has a relationship already with one of our defensemen, Will McKinnon, in Goaltender Mike Robinson, who had a stellar season at University of New Hampshire this year, was solid most of his years at New Hampshire, and then really finished off with a strong bang this year, and had a very solid uh, goals against average um, on exactly pretty much a 2-6, I think it was a 2-6-1 um, goals against, and was just very sharp positionally, very sharp in tone, and obviously, again, he has a familiarity with one of our defensemen already, and that's a very good thing to have as well. And uh, that's something, as long as we win the game, I think I want to ask Kirk McDonald about in the post game because it seems like whenever he's able to, which is a great way to form your locker room and team, get some guys that have familiarity with each other. And that's a great move there, not just because he's a good goaltender. That was a former third-round pick that now really started to show his weight in his last season that it was already really solid before that, but then became really good in his final season at New Hampshire. He also has familiarity with Will McKinnon. So that makes McKinnon, who's new in the locker room, more comfortable. And also, obviously, it makes Robinson, who's new in the locker locker room more comfortable as well. When it comes to beating Wooster though, just get back to the basics. The the Royals looked obviously gayous uh, at the game on Sunday and, and it makes sense. They obviously played three and three and they did not look like they had as much energy on Sunday, which makes sense, but they did still win in the goal scoring uh, chances component uh, according to coach Kirk McDonald and I would agree with them. Um, so it's about jamming them in the neutral zone as he said you don't necessarily have to play physical you just got to hit guys off the puck and get it going transitionally the other way they also have to be more getting good shots on net with net front presences that we've seen this team do all season that hasn't been the exact case um in this quick uh stretch here that they lost uh two of the games um against the Anirondack Thunder of course so it's about just kind of getting back to the basics that made this team successful use the ridiculous skill that this team has, but at the same time, use the brute force they have to be able to get great net from presence, the dirty but good goals, and we've seen our Royals have the great success because they're so good at both being skilled but getting the dirty but good goals as well, and if they get back to that as well as jamming teams to the neutral zone with the high success rate they had all season, they're going to be mighty fine and be going right back into the win streak like Ryan Bizarro and I talked about on the Royal Take that I had Ryan on. Go back and check that out as we gave our keys to the Royals closing out here, which it's just about getting back to how they played all season. It's about um, <clears throat> playing tight on defense and not giving up as many scoring chances, even in minimal shots, as Kirk McDonald said in the post game. And it's about also being able to obviously get healthier. We've had McNally. We had Cormier get loaned up. We had McNally get injured. Once you have key guys come back and key goaltenders come back eventually as well, that's going to help you in all the best as well. So this has been a quick Royal Take preview. I hope to see some of you at the game as I'll be leaving right now. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the game tonight.